grew up super poor, food stamps, welfare, government health care. I never knew anyone that owned a business, had a nice car. No one in my family graduated high school, owned a house, nothing. I was homeless. I lived in hotels. Um, I dropped out of high school in 10th grade, had a kid, got married when I was 16, still married uh, 18 years later. 13 years ago, I found out about selling books on Amazon. And so I've been selling books and other things on Amazon full-time for the last 13 years and I sold over 5 million gross in that time period. Reezy Resells. Follow the hustle. What's up guys? Today we're going to a library. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to a library book sale and we're going to make some money buying some books from a library and selling them online on Amazon. So Follow us along. Follow along with us today. Let's do this. Journey time, bro. Getting everything organized. We're going to have three people scanning and hopefully one people running. You'll figure out what that means later. We got Latte. He's not coming to the book sale, though. You're going to be good, Latte? <laughs> What's up guys, I'm outside the Civic Auditorium. The book sale starts in about an hour. My place in line is being held by my brother. I'm getting everything lined up. I'm gonna go approach the line and bring the camera and do a little, and do a little bit of filming, but I have to be discreet. So it's not gonna be me talking to you like this. So it's gonna be much more discreet 007 time. Heading into the book sale. <laughs> Strolling up on these fools. Hopefully I don't get beat up. I have a feeling it might get jumped. This is my aunt Nancy. Hello. Say hi. Who we say hi to? Whoever watches these, I don't know. You guys watch these, right? We're about to go into the book sale. It's kind of crazy out here, but anyways, Pretty gotta get ready. Right. Yeah, I can't do a lot of the filming while I'm in there, but okay. nice to see you. Start going through stuff. You know what I'm saying? Start focusing on type ins or things that have stickers over them. All right. Shout out to Willie running for us today. Here's our stack on the whole table. I'm about to whittle down this to see what we're actually going to take. Those ones too. Everything boxed up, um, and now we're gonna go check out, head to the car, check in with you guys in like one second. What's the total? Uh, three thirty-two, please. <laughs> Receipt. Super official. Doesn't Thank look you. too official. Hey, it works for my account. Oh. On the preview sale, we spent 330, 340. What did we spend? 333. 333, all threes. That's very weird. Time to load up. Yes, I do have a Game Boy Color in the car with 
Memorial Land too. What's up? Are we good? We good. We good? We're out? Yeah. So how cool is that guys? Pretty much just two hours at a library book sale with a couple of buddies and we were able to pull out almost $1,500 of profit for a little over $300 investment. Now that's not everything there is to it. It's gonna take us an additional two man hours to process that inventory and get it shipped into Amazon. And of course, it's not all gonna sell overnight, but that's not the point of it. The point of it is that I want you to know that library sales are a great way, if not one of the best ways, for you to grow your inventory of books on Amazon. And you're not just gonna walk into a library book sale and make 1500 bucks. There's a couple of things you need to know, some tips, some tools, some tricks, some strategies, but luckily I've organized those all for you. So if you click up here you can see a video I made that covers everything you need to know to crush it at a library sale like a pro and promise you after you watch that video you will be going to library sales and making a ton of money if you guys appreciate this video please smash the like button if you're not subscribed to the channel I would really appreciate it and remember guys if you ain't flipping you slipping see you on the next video peace I need to get my GoPro Mounts game stepped up, bro. I need to have my GoPro mount right here. Just kicking it like a butt. Yeah, you do need mounts. I don't understand why you don't have one. Aren't you a YouTuber? The head of the Sphinx was originally a lion. This would explain its disproportionate sizes. Facing the constellation Leo, gorgeous alignment. And the pyramids of Giza, aerial map of Orion. Do the research yourself. Don't have faith in science. Because modern education is a money making alliance. When you find proof of Zion, they just say it's defiant. So go ahead and publish.